Hey there, I'm Steve, and welcome to Jams and Entertainment. And welcome to the conversation. Just before we get started, there are many ways you can help. You can like and subscribe so you never miss a conversation. But most importantly, please share this video. Get the word out there as a community we can talk about all the things that we love. Today on Throwback Thursday, we're looking at The Nightmare Before Christmas. I agree with the people that say this movie can be watched at Halloween or Christmas, or do both. But it is first and foremost a Christmas movie. Because the entire premise is Jack Skellington, the pumpkin. King is tired of the same old in and out of Halloween and he wants something more. He walks through the cemetery and then he finds himself in the woods in an area he's never been to before. And Jack happens upon these six trees. They all face inward and each of them have a holiday on them. Obviously Halloween, but also Thanksgiving, Easter, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, and Christmas. Out of all the doors he sees, Christmas is the one that catches his eye because it's in the shape of a Christmas tree that's all decorated. He goes in and my second favorite song plays. The first one being most everyone's favorite song This Is Halloween, which is the opening. The voice of Jack is played by Chris Saradon, but the singing voice of Jack is Danny Elfman. If I was never told that, I would never have known the difference because the speaking voice and the singing voice, I can completely believe that Chris Saradon sang this music. Apparently he's not that great of a singer, so they got Danny Elfman to do it. And Danny Elfman also composed the music to this. Great job of both of them to play this role. The movie also is starring Catherine O'Hara, William Hickey, Glenn Saddix, Paul Rubens, Ken Page, and Edward Ivory. So after Jack experiences Christmas Town, he goes back to Halloween Town, and he tells all the citizens about it. They get hyped up, but they don't know why, and he doesn't exactly know why he wants them to be hyped up. What changed about him? And then he discovers, ha! Huh, I could do Christmas! Can he though? You have to watch the movie to find out. And this movie is a blast. It's stop motion. I can't say it's a dying art because there are newer stop motion movies out there, but there's not a whole lot of movies that are strictly stop motion. And it's always a wonder and joy to watch stop motion because, yes, regular animation takes a whole lot of effort, but I, even though crude stop motion, have done it. It is very tedious and time consuming. Especially, they're working with wires and stuff. They have to be absolutely sure that they're getting everything just right. Because if you don't, it's going to look really bad. And obviously, this crew that worked on this movie did a very good job. Because at least I don't see any flaws with it. The music is also fantastic. It's very memorable. I'm sure you've heard, at least this is Halloween. You probably have also heard, what is this? And maybe even making Christmas. But there are also other great and memorable songs in here. I do highly recommend that you would watch this on Halloween and Christmas. It's just that good of a movie and that you get it on Blu-ray. Those are my thoughts on The Nightmare Before Christmas. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and live your imagination.